Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Frag Punk is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loaded screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about we have to do a restart on your system. So to do a restart, just go over here in the start icon, go over here in the start. Now from here go to the power icon, do a restart. Sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. So that is why we have recommending the first one, try a simple restart. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So most of us have a habit of launching the game from Steam. So that is even causing the issue in most cases. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So first we need to know where is the game is installed. So right click over here if you don't know, go to the properties, go over here to the frag punk, right click, go to the properties, install it file and just make sure over here you can see the game is installed on G and it is around 32 GB. Now close this, close this as well. Now we need to go over here in the file explorer. Now we need to go to this PC, go to local disk G, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common, scroll down and navigate to frag punk and now from here we need to launch the game. So instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching the game from the installation folder, which even many helped many users as well. Next step, if that's not working, we need to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So we need to go over here in the installation folder. So right click on the .exe and go to show more options, properties, go to the compatibility. Make sure that you have to check on this. This is actually checked. So first you need to check over here in the compatibility mode. Make sure that you have to click on this one. And first you need to set this on Windows 7 and go for apply and you have to check. Or if it's not working, go to Windows 8, go for apply. And also make sure that you have to put a check on run this program as an administrator should be checked as well. Go for apply, go for OK. Close this and we have to try. Next one, we need to delete the saved game file. So if you started playing the game, Saving each levels of the game, you'll be definitely having a game here in the folder named My Games on Documents. So if you find a folder for the frag punk, delete the respective folder. Keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, but even though it worth a lot. Next step is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel and click on this one. Go over here in the Windows Defender firewall Go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to or check whether the frag punk is added. If the frag punk is added, you have to make sure one thing that you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public. So if you don't find the game, we can add it by manually. So just click on the change setting. Go to allow another app. Go to the browse. Navigate to the installation folder. Go to Steam library, Steam apps, common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to the frag punk. Select this one and we need to open and we need to add it. So once you add it, you'll be getting the error. Once it is successfully added, just close this and we have to try launching the game. Next one, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if any external joystick is connected or external monitor is connected or any other external peripheral is connected, just unplug it. Once unplug is done, you just need to launch the game and you have to check. Next one, we need to perform a clean boot. That's a very important step. To do this, just go over here, search for system configuration, and we need to click on this one. Go over here in the services, go to disable all, go to hide all Microsoft services, and we have to go for apply and go for okay. So they're gonna ask you for restart. So the users who are watching this, you have to go for restart, but I'm gonna go for exit the restart because we're in the middle of shooting. So just do a restart. Once the restart is done, you have to check. Next one, we need to disable the Steam overlay and also we need to type commands in the launch option. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the Steam once again, right click on the game, go to the properties, make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game is actually turn it on. So if it is turned it on, we have to turn this off and try launch the game. So if it's not there, we have to turn this, if turn it on, turn this off and try launch the game. Next one, we have to give commands in the launch option. So the first command that I'm recommending is you can start with DX11. If DX11 is not working, we have to start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, we have to start with D3, D2. 
any one of these steps either the dx11 or dx12 or d3 d2 might be working most cases you have to try either any one of these might be working so even after you give this over here in the launch option and you still face the issue then you just need to remove everything from here and you have to close this and move to the next step next step is all about we need to close all the overlay and overclocking application so to do this just go over here in the start right click go to the task manager and right now we need to expand this and now we need you can see these are some of the things which is running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance because this thing running in the background when you try to launch these kind of games you know you can definitely have the crashing issue all the time so we need to remove all the unwanted things for example if you find discord riva tuner msa afterburner all those things if you find here just remove everything everything should be removed all the unwanted things should be removed and afterwards you have to try launch the next one we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one now from here we need to add the game so right now i have already added the game so i'll remove this and i'll show you how to add it just click on the browse navigate to this pc go to the installation folder steam library steam apps common scroll down and navigate to the frag punk select this one and we need to add it once it is added just click on the option let windows decide change should be high performance which is nvidia geoforce gts 1650 save this and close this and go back and try launch the game next one we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting click on this one go to the advanced tab settings advanced once again go for change make sure that you put it you keep this blank and also you have to select the local disk where the game is installed so in my case by default it is on c but that's not going to work or if you try this step it is not going to work for you so make sure that you select g because the game is installed on g now go to the custom size we have to give the value for initial size and the maximum size so to give a value for initial size we need a calculator so just go over here and type this one now 16 gb is the ram so you have to type 16 gb now there is a constant value that should be multiplied that is 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 24 576 and copy this and we have to paste it next one we need to type 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 that is 49 152 and we have to copy this and we need to paste it so once afterwards just close everything and you have to check still there is an issue we need to update the graphics card so if you're on the nvidia i'll be providing the link to the nvidia and if you're on the amd i'll be providing link to the amd and also you can try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so i'll be providing link to the nvidia so the first one you need to go to this page this is all about the nvidia now from here you can check you have to select everything right now now no things are selected so just go over here so mine is geoforce so i have to select geoforce and now once afterwards you'll be getting further parameters like you have to select accordingly so mine is geoforce rtx 15 series so i have selected this one and it is 5090d so i'll select this one itself and mine is not on windows 11 so i'll keep this on windows 11 right now it is on windows 10 now go for the fine so you'll be getting another page where there will be a detail about the version last updated or released versions details etc which means which is around 572.70 and it is released on march 5 2025 which is around the size of 845 mb so click on this one now from here what we need to do is we can download this if you're on the amd just go over here to this page select everything based on your pc's configuration so right now i'll select randomly so you have to go everything and go to the submit and you have to download if you're on the windows 11 download this one and if you're on the windows 10 download this one we can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ over here. So just scroll down and based on your system performance, if the system is x64, we can download this one. If the system is based on x86, we can download this one. And also after trying with this still, there might be an issue. So what we need to do is we need to either verify the game file or we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So before that, apparently I would like to add, we need to make sure the Windows is up to date. So just go over here, go to the Windows update. So sometimes you know, you'll be getting these kind of errors. So I have already done a video on how to fix this. So you can watch it. I'll be providing that in the, um, you know, in the card over here at the top in the video, you can see it. So if you're in this case, you need to download and install this 24H2 is available to download and install. Afterwards, make sure the Windows is up to date. Now afterwards, go back. 
right click on this go to the properties installer file and verify the game file which is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so we just need to click on this one that's going to take a lot of time so once it's successfully done i'll skipping this or i'll making it a skippable so that you you won't get lagged up and let this get completed in the background and also you need to uninstall and reinstall the game so to uninstall just go over here right click and go to the manage and there is an option to uninstall the game but there is one thing that you should be aware of while you uninstall the game and when you reinstall it back you should not be installing it back on the same because right now the game is on g you have to try either f or you have to try c so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye